Hi everyone, welcome. What you see here is a little collection of labels I peeled off the four containers that I recently pulled all the finished castings out of and I cleaned them up and I, and I got them ready for future use. In fact, two of them have been prepped for loading worms. I, I built up a couple fresh bins out of one of these and today, if everything goes as planned, we're going to launch a new bin. That's why I've got my little label here. We'll simply write today's date on it to indicate that today was the day that the bin was started and I've got my little tub here and hopefully this tub will be big enough to pull the worms out of the container that I plan on decommissioning today. Let me go get that container now and bring it over here so we can take a closer look. It's not a great deal larger, but it's definitely deeper. Um, so yeah, overall it has definitely got greater capacity. So I'm going to, uh, it's, I guess there's nothing interesting to see over here, right? Why don't we bring over this whole shebang a little bit so we can monitor how our extraction of the worms goes. <laughs> so we'll have this as a chance to see how many worms we've succeeded in collecting. And then I guess we'll have the release also. So I'll be, uh, I'll be curious to see what people think in terms of how many worms we've succeeded in rounding up here. I've, um, I've got an initial estimate from the first haul out. When we did the first haul out of this container to start off that other bin that I've got, it was um, an estimated um, 1,265 worms that we pulled out. I'm going to put this with the rest of the bedding collection that we've been pulling together here. We'll bring all this stuff over with them as well. It'd be kind of nice to keep this stuff separate so we can get a better eyeball on how many worms we've succeeded in bringing over. And I've been joking around, you know, suggesting that, hey, maybe there's another 1,265 worms in here for the, uh, the the launch of a second container and I wouldn't be surprised if that was pretty accurate look at how many worms each handful has in it there are just tons and tons of worms <laughs> over here and I, I don't think that we've got like a, a high concentration of them just over on the side that I'm excavating now I think it's going to be pretty much the same deal going all the way across Lots of bedding coming over with these little guys. I thought there might be some leftover food scraps too, but I'm not really seeing much. Oh man, look at all these worms. Jeez. Tons of worms in this stuff, that's for sure. Lots of little ones too. Lots of baby worms. Look at them all. Wow. If I had tried to cram this many more worms into that system that I launched the first haul out, into I think we'd have a, a severely overpopulated container. <laughs> Look at all this bedding. I used so much bedding to build up this um, horizontal migration feeding zone. Here we got a nice chunk of leftover maybe cabbage or something. Not sure what it is. Oops. Making a mess here. I got castings all over the floor and man the, this thing is getting pretty heavy that I've started loading up with material. It's um you know, we're going to bring the food over with them, too. It's mostly, you know, castings and damp bedding and a lot of worms. A few, few scraps of food, it seems, but certainly not many. Gosh, so many baby worms in here. They're everywhere. There's another chunk of bedding we could pull out and set aside. All right, I think we've almost got it all, and we've almost filled this entire container up. It's crazy. <laughs> It's funny because, um, you know, when I think about the nice castings that we've created here over time, I really think back to the, the feedings that occurred in this system prior to me beginning foraging and then prior to me beginning the migration of the worms out of the material. And then when I think about the stuff that we're pulling out now, 
not to mention the stuff that I pulled out when we did the first extraction and haul out of the worms previously. All this stuff, to me, does not seem like it should count as far as the, um, the those five feedings that were used to bring the worms over into this edge of the bin. It seems to me like any castings that are the result of those five or so feedings um, should almost be like chalked up as being added to the new system. Because look at all these castings. You know, we're putting we're putting everything that's in here into a brand new system, and we're you know we're already giving it weeks and weeks worth of um, castings. You know, the castings that would take weeks and weeks to produce. You know, so you're kind of taking um taking a bin from zero to having you know a whole bunch of material in it that would normally take quite some time for the worms to create you know and you know if at some point too you wanted to know hey all those castings that uh, a system produced how many feedings if, if every feeding was always the exact same size you would want to kind of be able to equate x number of feedings to x amount of compost too so I don't know, I've just been thinking about other ways to maintain my records about this stuff here. So, um, man, this thing is heavy, I gotta tell you. Um, but I'm right here on the edge of the table. I gotta be careful not to <laughs> let this thing tip over. So we've also got a huge amount of um, salvaged bedding here too that we could bring over with these little guys. And we'll just sort of stash it in that container with them, I guess. And this stuff will come in handy at some point in the future as just bedding to go hand in hand with future feedings. But since that bin was built with um, pumpkin and everything in there already, coffee, they're certainly not going to need any feed feedings. They're just going to be um, thrown in there and uh, the bin will be treated as sort of pre-fed. So let's get this thing out of the way. Oh my goodness, quite heavy. Let's. Let's see if we get this stuff collected up here too. And then we can bring over our newly built bin. It's so weird when you could just take a, a brand new bin and lift it with one hand. <laughs> like for example, you know, if you try to compare it to the weight of this thing over here. Nope. Oh, I tried, yeah, I was able to lift it with one hand, but it took a little bit of effort. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. So I'm, I'm curious to see how many worms we've got in here. It would be really nice if we could just like pull out all this other stuff out of here. Gradually let the worms keep driving themselves down low. And then maybe we'd be able to have a, a nice traditional worm release with mainly worms, not a whole bunch of stuff obstruct, obstructing our view of them. I don't know. It just seems like I might take a little bit of time. I don't know if I really want to mess with that either. So... I think we're going to have a, kind of a, a, a tough time really seeing how many worms we're releasing into here. But when I dump this stuff out, I am going to spread it out as you know thoroughly as I can throughout so we can get a little bit of a glimpse of how many worms came together for this. Hopefully we got a nice haul out. I do somehow have this feeling as if what we just hauled out here on the second go around was even more than we um, pulled out the first time with which we launched the other system but it's kind of nice when you've got a big enough um, population that it'll um, you know it'll support the haul out of worms to launch off two containers so it, it would have been definitely crowded if I had just taken all these little guys and dumped them into the container where the other ones went so I think it's time let's just go ahead and get these little guys situated into their new home wow what a mound <laughs> we have any worms stuck in here? No, everything came out quite neatly, so this will be our one chance to get a little bit of a view of how many worms we're releasing into this system here. It's nice that they get to just sort of inhabit their existing material here in this bin, and then they'll be able to just, as they see fit, you know, go down, dive down, and explore the material below, nibble on the foods that are down there, and uh, get to work on a nice new bin. So let's let these guys get situated and we'll, we'll be done here.
And I stepped away for only a minute to get rinsed off, and I don't see any worms. They seem to have um, squirmed out of view. Okay, I see one here. But I don't know. What do you think? How many worms did we succeed in um, rounding up on this second go around? And I guess at some point, if I could um, throw some sort of bait out there for them, I will. And then whatever we manage to round up later, we'll, you know, bring them in here too. But for now, I'd love to hear people's guesses as far as how many worms occupy this nice new system that we're launching here today on the 14th of February, 2022. So, please join me in welcoming my newest Red Wiggler worm bin to my wormery. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up. That's always really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel too. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone, let's, uh, let's get this thing covered up. I've got just this from when I threw the food in there and the coffee, so that'll just be a feeding zone indicator at some point in the future. And, and that's that. All right, everyone, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Take care. left one one of these little guys behind <laughs> all right let's get this little guy reunited with the rest of the crowd and then we'll be done all right bye everyone